Welcome to another episode in our series, 100 Years at the Library, which looks at the history of the Frick Art Reference Library through some of the fascinating objects in our collections. I'm Sally Brazil, the Barbara G. Fleischmann Associate Chief Librarian for Archives and Records Management. The Frick's Archives Department, established in 1997, holds the institutional records of both the library and the museum, as well as personal papers related to the Frick family, along with a vast collection of manuscripts. Today, we are going to look at items from three manuscript collections housed in the archives that pertain to decorative arts. Two of these items directly relate to works of art in the Frick collection, while the third illustrates the contemporary collector's impulse in regard to a significant ceramics collection. The first set of materials is the research archive of Winthrop Kelly Eady, a noted collector of clocks and watches, who in 1999 bequeathed his collection of timepieces to the Frick collection, as well as his library and archive. Objects such as the Meunier clock at my side are found in the Frick's art collection, while these documents displayed here, including the hand-colored drawing of the clock's movement, as well as provenance and purchase information, are located in the Frick's archives. The library also holds a 1963 auction catalog, complete with Edie's annotations, where the clock and the historic documentation were listed for sale. A second important manuscript item in the archives is the shop inventory of the 18th century Italian silversmith Luigi Valadier. The inventory, or registro, dates from 1810 to 1827 and is the principal documentary source for information on the Valadier family's Rome workshop, where, over decades, the firm manufactured objects for both secular and religious purposes. The inventory records tools and utensils used in silversmithing, gem engraving, gilding, and several other trades. Also included are records of commissions for reproductions of works by major sculptors such as Giancarlo Lorenzo Bernini. In 2017, the Frick acquired a marble vase by Luigi Valadier, which was included in the highly acclaimed 2018-2019 exhibition Luigi Valadier Splendor in 18th Century Rome. The Valadier Registro has been fully digitized and can be viewed online using the Frick Digital Collections portal. The final decorative arts-related collection I want to highlight is the 2018 gift of the Bernard Starr Wedgwood and Ceramics Library, an accompanying archive. While the Frick does not have Wedgwood ceramics, a type of fine English pottery, in its holdings, the records of a collector of these objects and other related decorative arts fit within the library's larger collecting scope. The archive documents the history of Bernard and Lydia Starr's passion for collecting Wedgwood and other ceramics. A portion of the Starr collection was auctioned at Sotheby's in 2019. The Starr archive serves as a great introduction into the world of collecting. Bernard Starr was a central figure in the modern world of Wedgwood collectors, active in Wedgwood societies worldwide and a frequent auction bidder and chronicler of Wedgwood and other ceramic trends and discoveries over many decades. Along with his wife, Lydia, Mr. Starr formed a collection of collections as described in an introduction in the Sotheby Sale catalog. Together, these materials help tell a larger story of the interest in porcelain and other ceramic works of art, a strength of the Frick's permanent collection. These are only three of the decorative arts related manuscript collections in the Frick archives, but they illustrate the many treasures in our collections that offer a deep dive into the Frick's history and art history at large. These materials are available for consultation with an appointment in the reading room of the library or, like the Valadier inventory, can be scrolled through digitally from the comfort of one's home. To learn more about the Frick Archives, visit archives.frick.org or contact us directly at archives at frick.org. Thank you for watching this episode of 100 Years at the Library. Please continue to enjoy all the episodes we've released so far and stay tuned as the next part of the series will pick up after we return to our original library reading room at the Frick's renovated Fifth Avenue home. <music>